Hi, Nancy Love again. There's one thing I've thought of um, about organizing uh, good and fighting organized crime with civilians and law enforcement who found their moral dignity and are restoring their souls by deciding they're not going to let criminals make them criminals for the rest of their lives. And there are plenty. We are mighty. We are strong. Um, civilians courageous enough to approach people they have failed to, you know, stopped trusting in, in some cases for very good reason. Cops, uh, local and federal, who've decided that no matter how corrupt the bureau they're in or the division they're in, they're not going to let their original instincts to do good and be courageous and, and protect the public uh, be destroyed by the criminal among them. Here's what I want to say. <clears throat> Criminality thrives in the dark. You've got to have that facade, right? The criminals generally don't get over for very long announcing to the world that they're on the other side of the law. Politicians, business people, people who are in attorney positions, people who are judges, people who are governors, people who are mayors, all those people can't go around announcing their criminality to the public or the public would not buy what they're selling or vote for them or keep them in office and so forth. Well, <clears throat> one of the reasons that I love getting the news feed from the FBI, which I've been doing for about a year or so, <clears throat> is because when they bust people and these people get tried and convicted and they get sentenced as they should, the FBI issues a press release and their name gets out there. I've seen FBI press releases with seven or eight or more names of criminals that they, they arrested and had successfully <clears throat> convicted in, in drug rings in human trafficking rings, <clears throat> in all kinds of, um, you know, like misappropriation, uh, malfeasance, um, politicians committing malfeasance, judges committing crimes, uh, law enforcement, cops committing crimes. And what happens is when the FBI gets all this done and dots every I and the T's are crossed and the judges are on the side, right side of the law, what happens is it's emblazoned across the news. Those press releases go to the local press where the person lives and everybody who knows them gets to read their name in the paper. But it's not the fame they want to achieve. People who are criminals might want to have that comfortable facade where they that they hide behind like cowards, and they might want to be famous for pulling the wool over everybody's eyes, right? But one of the reasons I truly love the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the good cops among the local police is that because when they get it done right and the criminals are found, you know, they're made, they're found to be what they truly are. The facade comes off. That wall they hide behind falls down and their names get put in press releases that go into local, state, and national news. I know the names of people who absolutely are going to be revealed for what they truly are. I look forward to reading, and as a professional writer, I am offering to actually write those press releases for the FBI and local police myself. I'm a very good writer. Look forward to seeing some of your names in the print. Full press. Press on.